Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you some things about Tiller. I've had a lot of people reach out to me and want to know a little bit more about how to use Tiller with my workbooks. So first I want to explain that you do not need to use Tiller's foundation template in order to use Tiller with this workbook. You can import transactions directly into the workbook with their either Excel add-on or their Google Sheets add-on. So it's really pretty cool. If you need a really structured, detailed budget, then Tiller has some better options. Mine is not budget focused. As you know, it's not a budget spreadsheet. So you can use Tiller and transfer that information into this workbook. But what I'm going to show you here is how to directly use my workbook using Tiller service. You can sign up for an account with Tiller or even a 30 day free trial. Just go to their website, tillerhq.com. I'm not an affiliate with Tiller. I just love their service and I want to help people be more efficient and optimize their finances. It's about $6 a month, I believe, and that includes all of their templates that they have, as well as the Tiller money feeds, which is what allows you to link your bank accounts and pull them into Excel or Google Sheets. As you probably already know, I do offer an Excel or Google Sheets version of my workbook. If you want access to the Google Sheets version, you can just shoot me an email. It's contact at makingyourmoneymatter.com. That's also in the workbook if you forget that. In Excel, you'd go to Insert, My Add-ins, and then in the Microsoft Store, you would find this Tiller Money Feeds add-on and activate that. In Google Sheets, you'd go to Add-ons, Get Add-ons, and then if you search for Tiller, you'll see Tiller Money Feeds and Tiller Money Labs, so I recommend both of those. First, I'll show you what this looks like in Excel, and then I'll show you Google Sheets. In Excel, it's really just as simple as importing transactions with their add-on. If you go to Data, and then Tiller Money Feeds will show up here, it will link that, and you will be able to, whenever you want, import that new data, both transactions and budget history. You'll have to categorize each item that comes in, and sometimes you'll have to split transactions. So for example, this payroll will come in as a net, so it would show up as 3739 and then you would just insert rows, as many as you need for these deductions, and break out that total. And then just make sure, of course, that it matches still. Um, another thing to note is that Tiller is going to import transactions not just from your bank and credit card accounts, but from your investment accounts as well. And you'll want those pulled in because they'll impact your net worth statement and you want that budget history to make it really efficient. I have an example on here of a Vanguard fund. If you buy um, or sell something or if you have dividends, things like that, some of those you might not actually want in your budget. You can categorize those with this additional category, just other non-budget non transactions. You can also just leave it blank. Just if you're like me and you like to look through and see that everything's been done, that's why I've added that extra one. On the account and net worth side, if you go to the balance history, you'll see this is a very simplified example, but you'll see that it pulls in these balances. One thing I want to mention is that sometimes it doesn't pull in every balance every day. So if at the end, the last day of the month, you don't have a balance, you can go through and if you're sure it's the same as the last time Tiller updated, because that's my possibly why it didn't update is because the balance hasn't changed, you can just change the date on the side. So for example, if I didn't have a MasterCard balance on the 31st, but I had one on the 30th, I could just change it to the 31st to pull in that information. What you want to do here is copy all of your accounts, the names exactly, into this account tab. This is, of course, just one more setup type thing, and then you're going to want to map that to what category it is on the net worth statement. So if we look here, we see this one would be credit cards, this one would be brokerage accounts, we've got checking accounts, and we've got savings accounts. So that's going to pull that to the net worth statement. Just make sure that these balances match exactly what Tiller says. That's how the workbook works. Is it's trying to match those up. It's a little bit of setup, but then it pulls everything in great. You can see that it did pull in these balances right here. So it's saying as of January 31st, what is the balance of this specific account name? And it will go and it will search the balance history and pull those in. 
that will go to the current net worth tab and it will classify those just like you told it to in the accounts tab. All of this is the same in the Google Sheets version, plus there's a few extra features, so I want to show you those. The first thing, if you go to the Tiller Money Feeds add-on, you just click Open Sidebar. You can go to Settings, and there you can set it to Auto Update. So that means you don't have to come in your workbook and click Update. It will do it on a regular basis. Okay, the second thing is the ability to split transactions. So for that one, we're going to go to Tiller Money Labs. I'll open that sidebar. Here I'm on the second payroll. So this, um, this is John in my example, his payroll. And I want to split that between the various categories. So his gross income and all of the deductions. We'll give that a minute to come up. Okay, so in the Tiller Money Labs, it's under Tools, and then Split Transaction. So as long as you're on the transaction you want to split, you can just click Split Transaction and then add all of those categories. And I'll do that real quick to show you. So in this example, he has Social Security, he has Medicare tax, there's federal withholding here, there's state tax withholding, And then qualified retirement contributions. And the last one is other pre-tax deductions. So for the gross, I'm going to put in 4,500. Then it's 278 for Social Security. 65 for Medicare, and I'm entering those as negative because they're deductions. 353 for federal, state, 258, 225 retirement, and let's see, 10 for pre-tax. And then we'll click split transaction. It will tell you if it doesn't add up to that total that's currently there. And then you can see it's automatically done that work for me. So that's a, a nice little feature. The next thing is the best feature of Tiller Money, I think. So if we go to Tiller Money Feeds, open the sidebar, we're going to click on that auto cat or auto categorization. So this makes it a little bit more like Mint. You can automatically set some rules and it will, when it pulls it in, categorize those. In the Money Feeds add-in, you'll see this Auto Cat selection. And then if we click on that, it will have this Rule build Builder. Or you can go actually to this, work, um, this worksheet. You can see I already have a few set up. So what you can do is you can look at transactions and you can go through and identify the really common ones. So if it's something that, you know, Starbucks, if that always goes to the same category, you can say if description contains Starbucks, I want that to go to whatever category it is that, that you put your Starbucks purchases in. So if that's going to be different each time, then AutoCAD maybe isn't the best solution for that, but maybe it's Mary Jane that always goes to Starbucks. So you can, you can run that AutoCAD And you'll see that it, it will populate that. There's some other really cool things here, though. You can set this here, just like we set the um, transactions in the balance history to automatically run. You can set this AutoCAD to run, too. And I suggest doing that on only uncategorized transactions so that whenever it pulls in something, it will automatically categorize that for you.
Some other cool things is that you can select some of these things in your workbook. So if there's, you know, all, all these three things and they're always the same, you can make roles from that selection. Or you can even have them suggest roles and then just click and approve those and it will put those in this workbook for you. So it's, it's really cool. If we go back to the Tiller Money Labs add-on, you can see that they do have some other solutions and it will tell you which ones will work with this workbook and which ones won't. Um, to get to the, the Tiller Money Labs, probably previously it did ask you to adopt sheets. So I forgot to mention that, but that is something that you can click yes, adopt these sheets and it should work fine. So some additional things um, in this tool category include um, CSV imports. So it will break out things like your Amazon purchases, which is pretty cool. So instead of having it just say Amazon and you get frustrated and just put Amazon in its own category rather than categorizing them because there's so many, especially now, you can actually have it break that out. So as you can see, you, you download the CSV from Amazon, you just import it here. There's a little tab to click. And then it shows you the line items instead of just Amazon and that will, it will split it out. There's some more useful things here. Um, this YNAB transaction one is one that I tried out and really, really actually liked. And there, there's so many more things and you can just try them out and it's really fun. If you have any questions for me about how this works together or have any issues with getting your, this set up on your workbook, you're definitely welcome to reach out to me. If you have any questions about linking bank accounts, of course, you can reach out to Tiller Support, which I found to be very helpful. I hope this helps you to get set up with Tiller and to make your money even more efficient and reach your financial goals.